Park and we have live team coverage this afternoon from every corner of the region. Two on your sides, Rob Hackford is in Niagara Falls. Most Buffalo anchor Lauren Hall and 530 anchor Claudine Ewing are in downtown Buffalo. Dave McKinley is at the Buffalo Zoo. Ron Plants live at the waterfront at the Outer Harbor and Kelly Dudzik is live at Salem Field. And then Nate Benson is rounding out our coverage in the southern tier in Jamestown where it should be pretty clear in time for that 318 uh, moment of totality. Three yeah. and a half minutes and we are two hours and 18 minutes away from that. Now one spot in western New York that is expected to see the most visitors today is Niagara Falls. Yeah, we've been talking about this for weeks. Hotel rooms have been book, booked for months in the area. Two on your sides, Rob Hackford is live in Niagara Falls State Park with a uh, look at how, how it's going. And the, the crowds are just filling in behind you. Yeah, Pete and Melissa just filling in at this point. We've seen some little peaks of sunshine. The clouds mostly still present here, but uh, really improving from what we saw earlier today in terms of uh, those crowds. We were warned that they could be large uh, as early as you know, 5 a.m. this morning with uh, cars lined up to get in the parking lots around 6 a.m. That really didn't play out uh, as state officials and as many had speculated. Uh, but the crowds really have been enjoying themselves, enjoying the, the sights and sounds of Niagara Falls, especially is that's one of the reasons why many of them uh, came to this area because if the weather doesn't pan out that is always uh, a backup for them today uh, speaking with lots of couples families who have been planning this for a while others who have been only planning this for a couple weeks they did this pretty spur of the moment uh, i want you to hear from this couple from tampa in virginia now who have uh, you know, been excited to be a part of this and are looking forward to whatever they see today we're not early risers but we <laughs> rose early uh, to get here and get a good spot and yeah so why not? And actually, we have was another uh, our son and daughter-in-law. I think they're still sleeping back in the hotel yeah. right now. They let us do all the work today. My son Ben, all right, months and months and months ago, had said, "Hey, there's going to be a total eclipse." He already knew the path of totality. Let's go to Niagara Falls. So it's something that we've had on our calendar for at least the last nine months. And uh, about four months ago, we booked hotels up here so that we could come up and, you know, uh, experience this with a whole bunch of other people in an amazing, amazing place. Yeah, there are still some spots in the lawn. People have been mapping out their spots or reserving them throughout the day, coming in with blankets, chairs, making sure they have a comfortable spot to hang out for uh, the next couple hours as we get to the point where the eclipse will, will start. And then totality, of course, at 3.18 p.m., the point that everyone is waiting for. Uh, even all along this uh, railing here, people have set up their personal cameras just to try and get a shot of this. Again, we'll see what the clouds have, uh, have for us in store today. Uh, but we'll continue to keep you updated here from Niagara Falls. State Park. As folks continue to come out, try to be a part of this uh, tremendous event. We'll also be hearing from uh, Governor Hochul in just a little bit here. I'll be hopping off camera and getting set up for that. So, Pete and Melissa, I'm going to send it back to you in the studio. All right. Thanks very much, Rob. Yeah, and I have a feeling that place is going to be packed the next time we see Rob. Certainly will. What an amazing place to witness a total solar eclipse from a wonder of the world in our own backyard. Um, during a really special day as well. And people from all over Western New York have come not just to Niagara Falls, but also to our waterfront here in Buffalo. Yeah, the Outer Harbor for a lot of the, the people who like the technical aspect of it is kind of ground zero. That center line is going to hit land first, right about where Ron Plants is standing. Hey, Pete, you know, you're singing my song there about technical stuff and everything. You know I am a nerd when it comes to planes, space flight, all that kind of stuff. So I do have, actually, we're going to run some uh, audio from them later, people who have set up with sophisticated cameras here uh, on the Outer Harbor, so we'll be hearing from them. Uh, but also, again, want to talk a little bit about NASA. I mean, you know, we had all those experts up in Niagara Falls, including one of the Artemis two astronauts, a Canadian astronaut, who is going to be going back, or actually to the moon, to circle around the moon. That's coming up sometime in uh, 2025. But in the meantime, um, 
Okay, we they're just talking here. They're trying to talk about chasing the clouds away. But I wanted to talk about this WB-57 plane, which NASA actually is flying out of Houston, and they're going to be flying along that center line. This plane is a converted a 1950s era bomber, uh, and what it can do is it's packed with sophisticated sensors and infrared photography, and it'll be flying at about 50 to 60,000 feet in terms of altitude, so it's above any clouds to begin with, but also it'll be able to get spectacular imaging of the sun and the corona as it's following along in that path of totality. So I wanted to talk about that situation. Uh, also here in terms of optimism, now I'm going to have uh, Chief Photographer Scott May try to pan up. I think there is a sliver of blue sky right there. Scott, we're still seeing it. And that is hopefully what's going to happen at 3 o'clock. Uh, is it still there? Yeah, we still got it. So let's all keep our fingers crossed. And again, I've been doing that psychic energy thing, the exercise. You go like this and you push the clouds away. I think everybody in Western New York should start practicing this right now. Scott and Melissa, you're up, or uh, yeah, Pete and Melissa, you're up there on the roof. Why don't you guys try this too? Hey. Just try to pull those clouds away. <laughs> Ron, I've been calling you a magic man for over 30 years now. We hope the magic Psychic. works. All right, Ron. Ron Plants from down in the hour to Harvard. Thank you. We want to head back.